I'm going to keep it short, sweet and simple. And I'm going to give you upfront conclusions that yes, you should definitely do this certification if you're on the brink of deciding whether I should do it or not. Definitely go for it. It is one of the most difficult exams to pass and it's one of the most prestigious certifications to have under your belt. And the opportunity cost is worth it. I mean, it's not going to take you one to three years to do this certification. It's only going to take you around a few months. If you're laser focused, perhaps three months. And if you know where to get your knowledge and practice exams from. In my case, it happens to be LinkedIn Learning. Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Suleiman. I'm a graduate of Start Applied Business School, which boasts itself to be one of the top 100 MBAs in the world. I'm also a United Nations awarded essay writer, son of two photographers, and I'm aspiring to make my mark in the field of cybersecurity. I'm making this video because when I started out, I didn't find something similar that was very polished to make me understand or something engaging to keep me watching. So here I am trying to give what I wish I would have received. So CISSP or CISP stands for Certified Information Systems Security Professional. It is a globally recognized certification for information security professionals. The CISSP certification is offered by ISC Square and it demonstrates a person's ability and expertise in eight domains of information security. What are these eight domains? They have made eight domains necessary for a person to understand, to be able to hold a certification as prestigious as this. And for a CISP certification, you can't even give the exam unless you have expertise in three of these eight domains and you do not have at least five years of working experience in these three domains. What are these eight domains? Number one, security and risk management. Number two, asset security. Number three, security engineering. Number four, communication and network security. Number five, identity and access management. Number six, security assessment and testing. Number seven, security operations. Number eight, software development security. So if you're planning to take this certification, let's dive in what these eight domains look like. All right, starting with domain one, security and risk management. This is all about understanding the big picture. You'll cover risk management strategies, policy development and compliance with legal requirements. Think of it as the foundation of your security architecture. This is just security and risk management. So how I like to give an example of this is that imagine you're building a house, but this is just the blueprints of the house. Moving on to domain two, asset security. This is where you'll focus on protecting data and assets. It's about data privacy, classification, and implementing the right controls to keep everything secure. So how I like to think of asset security is like organizing things in a safe. You need to know what you have and how you have kept it safe. Next up is domain three, security, architecture, and engineering. Here you'll design and implement security systems. This domain covers everything from security models to infrastructure. So how I look at it is that if domain one was your blueprints, this domain is actually building the house with the right material. Domain four, communication and network security. This one's all about protecting your networks and ensuring secure communications. Think firewalls, VPNs and network design. So for me, how I look at this domain is like having telephone lines and knowing who can call and who cannot. Domain five, identity and access management. This focuses on who gets access to what. You'll manage identities, control access, and ensure that only the right people can get into your systems. Imagine this one as a VIP guest list, who can get into your house and who cannot. The next domain is security assessment and testing. This is where you test your security measures and find vulnerabilities. It's all about assessment and improvement. Think of this domain as hiring a inspector of construction to look at the house that if it's safe to move in or not. Domain seven, security operations. This domain covers the daily management of security operations. You'll handle incident response, monitor systems, and ensure business continuity. 
For me, it's like managing the day-to-day -day maintenance of your house, ensuring that everything runs smoothly. It's all about operations. And operations means running something, whether it's a business or a home or anything. Lastly, domain eight, software development security. This domain integrates security into the software development lifecycle. You'll focus on secure coding and application security. So this ensures that when you build your house, the latest security features are already installed in the house so that nobody can get in. It's like ensuring that all the latest security features are built in your house right from the start. And that wraps up our overview of the eight domains of CISSP. If you enjoyed this breakdown, I really think that you would enjoy my video on how to take notes on an iPad using Freeform right over here. Check it out. See ya. Bye-bye.